Hey, what's up guys? Ramon here at Monster Gadgets. Welcome to episode number 19 of Tutorial Thursdays. I hope you all are having a wonderful day wherever you might be. So today's topic is a bit controversial and there are some photographers that believe in it, some photographers that don't. I'm personally one of those that do believe in this method. So today we're going to be looking at how to apply overlays to your current photos. And basically, for example, just filling in a sky that you originally took that maybe didn't come out as well as you thought it would and basically replacing it with another sky. So it's kind of manipulating a photo that you take and adding components to it to make it to what you want. So I don't know. Uh, the way I look at it is it's, it's a form of art and I'm just taking my photos and combining them to make them what I thought it would be. So. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I personally think it's perfectly okay. So I'm gonna show you how to use this method to get the outcome that you want with just manipulating a few things. So let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Photoshop after this intro. All right, well, hold on, hold on. So before we go into the actual intro, I always forget to do this. If you are a new viewer, please go and subscribe to my channel. Just hit that little, you know, the red subscribe button in the bottom. Make sure you hit that, hit that bell notification. And for those of you who have already subscribed, I greatly appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Now let's run the intro. All right guys, so here we are in Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna be working with this image. I took this image uh, at Mackinac Island in Michigan, I think like last year or something. So it's an older image, uh, but as you can see, it's kind of washed out. It's not really that attractive by any means. So we're going to go ahead and add a sunset to this. So we're going to be working with this image as the sunset. I'm going to go ahead and drag this onto our project here in Photoshop. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on where it says normal and go ahead and click on multiply. What this will do is it'll kind of give us a see-through version so we can see how we're going to line this up in the background. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so it lines up perfectly with our image where we want it to be. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger and then I'm going to bring this back up here so kind of near the horizon where I want it to be maybe just a little bit below and we'll clean that up later so that's good right there. I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark here as an OK selection and voila our background is done and look at how amazing this photo looks right no 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 i'm joking we're gonna fix that obviously it's completely messed up so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a mask so go ahead and come down here and click on add a mask and it's gonna give us this little white mask here after that we're gonna go ahead and select our gradient tool so if you don't know where that's at you can hit g on the keyboard or scroll over to your toolbar here and it might show up as this or if you right click on it or keep it pressed it might like this so and then we're gonna go ahead and select gradient tool so go ahead and click on that make sure you've got uh, your color selected here and the white is in the front and what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna click and drag down and this is where it kind of becomes a little tricky because depending on where you place it that's how it's gonna kind of blend it in and so this looks a bit washed out so I'm not gonna go with that I'm gonna go ahead and maybe click again and see what it looks like so that looks well, that looks pretty good, but we'll give it a few different clicks and see what makes the most sense for us. So I think that looks pretty decent. So if you again go up too high, come too low, it's gonna be really washed out. If you come towards the end and blend it in, it's a little bit more hard. So we just gotta find that perfect median and this might be it. So that looks pretty good, except now you've got this overlay we wanna get rid of. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on the paintbrush tool and we're gonna make sure we have the black color in the front. We're gonna go ahead and zoom into our photo and basically just start cleaning away. So if you wanna get more detailed into this, obviously you can take a little more time, make sure it looks extremely good and get into uh, it zoomed in and get, get in really close and clean it up. But for the sake of time, we're just gonna go ahead and do this the quick way. So as you can see, I'm just clicking and dragging. You can also mess with the opacity. I, I've got it at 36%, but you can go ahead and turn that up to give it more of a harsh effect. I personally like to keep it low. That way uh, I just click a couple more times and get the areas that I wanted to get instead of me making it too harsh and basically clearing out the areas I don't want to clear out. So this kind of gives it more of a realistic look. So I personally like it at 35, 37, maybe even at 40% at the most. But as you can see, it does a fairly good job. 
cleans it up, but I went too far, so Command and Z, and that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and go over to the mountains, and we're gonna clean this up a little bit as well. And if you wanna leave it, you technically can. It kinda gives it that warm sunset type of look, but we'll just go ahead and clean this up just a little bit and see what it looks like. Go ahead and go around that, perfect. And voila, here it is. So now we've got this image. It looks a lot more colorful. It's a lot more vibrant. And this was our original photo here. And we did a sky replacement and here's what it looks like. Um, we might have actually kind of messed up a little bit here, but as you can see, that kind of erased into that area. So again, this is just a quick version so you guys can kind of see, but if you were gonna do it, you would take more time, you would do it more detailed, zoom in, make sure you get a real area that you wanna get, and it's nice and clean. <clears throat> so that way you don't have these type of issues. One other thing I can tell you, if you wanna go ahead and make your selections after the fact, you can also go ahead and click on the image that you brought in. You can go into File, and you can go, oops, go into Edit, and click on Free Transform. That gives you the option to kind of re-edit if you wanted to. So if I want to bring this in a little bit lower, I can. If I wanted to move this around, I can. And so that way you don't have to go back and redo everything. So we can just go ahead and leave it there maybe and hit OK. And now you've got this new layer. If you wanted to make it bigger, you can make it bigger. You can do a whole lot of things with it. Um, don't feel like you're stuck with that one particular image. Once you've selected it, you can always go back and change it and move it around and do whatever you needed to do. So. Hopefully you found this to be helpful. Again, it's a bit controversial. Some people like to do it, some people don't like to do it. I personally don't see anything wrong with it. It's my photo. I can do whatever I want with it as an artist, but what can you say? It's up to you. But now you know how to do it. If you wanna use it, you can. Um, and hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.